Nice job, guys. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round. Now it's time for the final... Now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's a portion of the world where we think Patty is headed. Take a look at this map and think about it. All right, looks like everybody's ready for a final clue. We turn to a gal whose last gig was Lollapalooza's side stage. Here is Nana Rap. Get up, Greggy. It's time to get down. Get down. Get down. Nana raps my name, and I got blue hair. Check Patty on the run. She's in a nation where the m m Mediterranean is to the west. Jerusalem's the capital, and that's no jest. Who? A country which a granny did administer. Her name was Golda Meir. She was prime minister. Golda wanted Jews and Arabs to live peaceful lives. You know, like grannies do. They don't want no fights. <laughs> so I laid down the clues, and I raised up your hopes. Now Nana's got a book, so I can catch my soaps. You got the Nana. Nana rap, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, guys, name the country where Patty is taking the rainbows now. Is it Lebanon, Israel, or Yemen? Remember the clues that we heard. On Mediterranean, capital is Jerusalem, and gold in my ear was former prime minister. This is the final clue of this round, so once you're ready, lay those cards right down there in front of you. Kathleen's ready, so is Dennis, and so is Andy. Dennis, come to you first. You have 70 at me crying bucks. Before you show us your answer, how much did you risk? I wagered 40 at me crying bucks. 40 crying bucks puts you over 100 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Israel. Israel is right. Nice job, Dennis. 110 for you. Kathleen, you have 85 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Nothing. Oh, well. So we'll see. This, you'll uh, stay where you are. You say Israel, which is right. You stay at 85. Nice job. Andy? It's 30 crime bucks. 30 crime bucks. You have 90. What'd you say, bud? Israel. Is right. Nice job, Andy. On in the next round, Kathleen, you had the right answer, just not quite enough there to put you over, but great job, great detective work. Chief, what do we have for you? That Patty Larceny is so sneaky. Sometimes she gets away from the best of us. Well, here's an equipment upgrade to help you on your next case. It's the latest in official Acme gumshoe gear, including an atlas, this cool crime net cap with the Acme logo in front, the official Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine and our new Acme Stealth Pen Quarter. Its built-in high-tech micro recorder is for use only by Acme agents. Hello, Chief. This is Acme Man, and I give these pens my full support. Wh Acme who? Okay, guys, Patty Larson, she went to Israel. We can't waste a lot of time, so we're going to modem ourselves there. What you got to remember is big, deep breath at the beginning. Great. Yeah. Are you in the gumshoes ready to modem? We're ready, Chief. Let's do it. Here we go. Whoa. Okay, there's our place right over there. Let's go. Come on. Hey guys, you know where to go. I'm going to be standing right over here. The chief is coming up here with some very important information, so listen very carefully. Chief, what do you have for us? Okay, there are 15 places in Israel where you might find Patty Larceny, the warrant, or the stolen rainbows. Let's look at a few of them. Start off in Jerusalem's old city section. It's been inhabited for over 5,000 years. It's also been a Jewish, Christian, and Muslim holy place for centuries. Then head to Caesarea. This ancient Roman city is one of Israel's most important archaeological sites. Swing by the amphitheater. Patty may use the stolen rainbows to put on a light show. Next, the Dead Sea. In Hebrew, Yam Hamalak, the Sea of Salt. The water here is much saltier than any ocean. That makes it so buoyant, you can't sink. This woman's newspaper was so interesting, she floated all the way to Jordan. Finally, Israel's hilarious situation comedy, Sheldon and the Camel. Sheldon is a young bachelor who has a camel for a roommate. The camel's sassy, but with a heart of gold. Uh, I guess it loses something in the translation. 
But your situation is no comedy gum shoes. Tune in Israel. Consult local listings for stolen rainbows and tell Patty Larceny she's headed for cancellation. We'll do it, Chief. Thanks a lot. You guys know how this works? Loot, warrant, and then crook. Andy, you had the most crime books at the end of the last round. You go first. Hebrew University. Hebrew University. Low. Nothing there. We turn it back around. Dennis, your turn. Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock. <laughs> okay, you found Patty Larson. Remember, though, you have to go in the right order. Loot, warrant, and then crook. Be careful, Dennis. Hebrew University. Hebrew University. Low. Nice strategy. We turn both back around. Andy, your turn. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Rob Rainbows. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. And you surprised Rockapella. Go ahead. The Knesset Building. Knesset Building. The Knesset Building. Low. I think there. We turn both of them back around. Dennis, your turn. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Filch Falls. Go ahead, Dennis. Western Wall. Western, Western Wall. Low. No? We turn both of those back around. Andy, your turn. Mount of Olives. <laughs> Mount of Olives. Willie Cascade. Go ahead, Annie. National Water Carrier. National Water Carrier. Low. <laughs> we turn both of them back around again. Dennis, your turn. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Misappropriated Mistmaker. Well, thank you, Dennis. Go ahead. Negev Desert. Negev Desert. Negev Desert. Hot. Oh, well, That's nice. Low. I think there, yes, we turn it back around. Andy, your turn. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Color Calamity. Go ahead, Annie. Habima Theater. Habima Theater. Low. No, nothing there. We turn that back around. Dennis, your turn. Mount of Olives. Mount of Olives. Iguazu Boo Boo. Go ahead, Dennis. Jordan River. Jordan River. The Warrant. You, sir, have the loot and the warrant. You remember where Patty is? Dome of the Rock. Is Patty still at the Dome of the Rock? <laughs> yeah! yeah! Patty! 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 Nice job. You know what to do. Pull in the chain and put it in jail. Go ahead. Patty's in jail. Nice job, Dennis. Talk to you just a little bit. First off, Annie, great job. Great detective work. Got some great stuff for you. Chief. Good detective work is a team effort, and today you made a huge contribution. That's why I'm awarding you all this great acne gumshoe gear. And you'll receive two of these acne secret senders. That means you and a fellow gumshoe will be fully equipped to zap messages to each other through the air. Plus, you can store phone numbers, even use it to control your TV and VCR. It's a great gift for a job well done. Congratulations. Thanks a lot, Chief. Okay, buddy, this is your big chance. Here's your portfolio, inside piece of paper and a pen. What I want you to do is write down where you like to go to catch Carmen San Diego and get that music. Tim, start the music. <laughs> Okay, now all we need is a phone call to tell us uh, where Patty has gone. Oh, just a second. Hello? Yeah, he's right here. Hold on. I just got back from the prison laundry, and they mix colors and whites in the same wash. I can't stand it anymore. Go find Carmen in Europe. Tell her to help me. Okay, Dennis, very important information from Patty about Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. England. Baltic Sea. Sweden. Netherlands. Germany. Switzerland. Poland. Slovenia. Belarus. Ukraine. Moldova. Macedonia. Turkey. Greg, let's go to the map. I feel good. <laughs> those markers we'll get 45 seconds up on the clock and remember whenever you see one of these things right here yeah we're talking about a body of water hold on to that for me will you bud thanks a lot man all right we have 45 seconds are there good enough good luck to you you guys cheer them on on your mark get set go coming to Zurich Switzerland 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 yeah let's go come on Liverpool England 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 do it buddy England yeah Germany Berlin Germany Germany buddy go yeah Baltic Sea, Baltic Sea, you're doing great, Baltic Sea. Yeah. Netherlands, Amsterdam, Netherlands, Netherlands. Yeah. Ukraine, Ukraine, Kiev, Ukraine. Yeah. Sweden, University.
Sweden, 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 Sweden. Yeah, come on, Poland, what's up, Poland? Poland, Poland, do it. Carmen San Diego. How you feeling? Good. Good enough, eh? Listen, you wrote down where you'd like to go if you cut Carmen San Diego. You and a parent are going to Let's Seattle. Buddy. That was so fast. What a great recovery you had there. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? He plays football and video games. He got soaked in the rain during a sailboat ride in New Orleans. This is Zelina Honey, a young meteorologist. She has relatives in Canada, Guyana, England, Trinidad, France, and Austria. This is Saeed Rashid. He wants to be an architect. He speaks English and Bengali. And this is Sarah May, Carmen Sandiego's caterwauling caper committer. Sarah May. Her last known whereabouts? Santa Fe, New Mexico, the second oldest city in the USA. The Institute of American Indian Arts Museum was founded here in the early 60s. Museum instructors from many Native American cultures teach traditional and new arts. The museum's collection, featuring works by artists like T.C. Cannon and Bill Souza, is one of the most important in the U.S. Or it was until today. When Serenade skidded into Santa Fe, piled the collection into her bam van, and stole it. She wants to trash it in her next music video. Gumshoes, you've got to stop Sarah, corral Carmen, and mitigate this museum melodrama. <laughs> and here's Acme senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi guys, how you doing? Fine. Very good. Listen, uh, as you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get a trip to anywhere in North America to help you do that. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. You guys know how this game is played. We're going to start off with our very first clue today with the Acme Crime Computer. Follow me right over this way, if you would, please. Uh, we'll just turn this thing on, see what happens. Uh, okay. Sometimes it has a little trouble getting started. <coughs> All right, there you go. Uh, well, now look at this, guys. This looks like it's, it looks like it's cheese, but uh, it says right here that it's actually a moon rock. And uh, strangely enough, it tastes very much like Velveeta. Just let me read this to you. It says, search a southern city that's home to the Johnson Space Center. This city's name was the first word ever spoken on the moon. Sarah's in a park that was named for the moon base tranquility, okay? put that on some malted milk balls later. All right, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Wait a minute. Thank you very much. Name the city, if you will, please. Is it Hoxie, Yazoo City, or Houston? Remember the clues that we heard? Home to the Johnson Space Center. City's name was the first word spoken on the moon. And Tranquility Park. Okay, go for the name as quickly as you can. Uh, Zelina is ready, and so is uh, Llewellyn. And Saeed is ready, too. Not quite yet, Saeed. Okay, uh, Llewellyn, what do you think? Greg, I said Houston. Houston. What do you think, Zelina? Greg, I said Hoxie. Hoxie. What do you think, uh, Syed? Oh, Greg, I picked Houston. Houston. The answer we're looking for is Houston. Nice job, Syed and Llewellyn. <laughs> nice job. We'll add uh, 10 cry bucks to each of your scores. Now, for our next clue, as you know, sometimes to get a clue, you have to ruffle a few feathers, right? And so uh, we're going to check it with the Birdman himself, Acme's Stool Pigeon. Take a look. Yeah, go ahead. Put me on birdseed water, see? I'm not saying nothing about southern Mexico, especially a town between Mexico City and Acapulco. So what if the town's got a tradition? Yeah, they've been doing silver work for 450 years. They're the center of Mexico's silver industry. Yeah, we cooks have a tradition, too, see? We don't squeal. Yeah. Feathers of steel. Okay, guys, name the Mexican location, if you will, please. Is it Tosco, Mazatlan, or Monterey? Okay, remember the clues that we've heard? Town in southern Mexico between Mexico City and Acapulco. Center of Mexican silver industry and a 450-year tradition of silver work. 
Okay, Llewellyn's ready. So is Saeed, and Zelina is too. Llewellyn, we'll start with you. What do you think? Greg. Well, Greg, I said... Um, Mazatlan? Mazatlan. Very good. I know that's kind of a tough one. Uh, Zelina, what do you think? Oh, Greg, I said Taxco. Taxco. Uh, Taxco. What do you think, Saeed? Uh, Saeed. What is it again? Saeed. Saeed, sorry. Got a lot oh, of Greg, words going here. I said Mazatlan. Mazatlan. The answer we're looking for is Taxco. Nice job, Zelina. Okay. So that kind of ties everything up. Everybody has 60 crime bucks. That's the way to do this thing. Now, guys, for our next clue, it's time for us to check in with the roach... Yes, it is. The Roach Motel. Come right down here. Yeah. Hey, Kafka, what's up? Oh, hi, Greg. I just got this postcard from my buddy Samsa. It says, um, uh, um, I just saw a serenade in the capital city of Canberra. She was wailing with wild wallabies. Look, there's one right here. Weird-looking critter, huh? Bye-bye <laughs> from down under. A <laughs> big deal. I've been down under plenty of times. Down under the fridge, down under the garbage, down under a stack of dirty okay. dishes. Okay, my thanks, favorite. Kafka. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm like... Yeah. I just want to remind our viewers that the views expressed by this bug are not necessarily those of the hotel management. Okay, Gumshoes, name the place. Is it New Zealand, Indonesia, or Australia? Remember the clues that we heard? Capital is Canberra, Wallabies, and nicknamed Down Under. Okay, Zelina's ready, so is Llewellyn, and so is Saeed. Llewellyn, what do you say? Well, Greg, I said Australia. Australia. Zelina, what do you think? Well, Greg, I also picked Australia. Australia as well. Saeed. Greg, I also picked Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody said Australia. Everybody's right. Way to do it, guys. Wow. This is a close game. Everybody's got 70 crime bucks for Llewellyn, Zelina, and Saeed as well. Everybody's at the same time. Okay, you guys know what this means. It's time for the lightning round, which means now uh, all of these uh, questions are about Sarah's most recent known whereabouts, which is Australia. All of them are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzer. Listen carefully. Here we go. Until 1983, the U.S. was the only country that had won this sporting event. Then Australia changed history. Did an Australian team, A, beat our basketball dream team, dream team, B, win the World Rodeo Cup, or C, capture the America's Cup in yachting? Llewellyn. Captured the Ameri America's Cup in Yachting. Very nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question two. Like the U.S., Australia is divided into states. How many are there in Australia? Four, six, or ten? Zelina. Six. Six is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question three. The Waltzing Matilda is Australia's most famous song, but the title doesn't refer to a dancing woman. Is Waltzing Matilda... A, the name of a battleship, B, a slang term meaning to tramp around, or C, an Australian airplane. Llewellyn. An Australian airplane. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Saeed. A. Uh, sorry, it's not A. Zelina. B. B is right. A slang term meaning to tramp around. Good job, buddy. Okay, that means at the end of that round, Llewellyn has 75, Zelina has 80, Saeed has 70 crime bucks. Guys, Greg, you better come into my office. Yeah, okay, Chief, I'll be right there. If you guys will excuse me just a moment. Obviously, the Chief still needs me. What's up, Chief? Oh, Greg, something weird is going on. I, I can't explain it, but a certain thing happens whenever anybody says Carmen's last name. So from uh, now on, it's just Carmen. Okay, okay, don't worry, Chief. I won't say Carmen San Diego. Thanks, Greg. I knew I could count on you. I'm sorry. Never again, I promise, I won't say Carmen Sandy armpit. <laughs> Carmen Sandy egg salad. Carmen Sandy elephant. Oh, for goodness <laughs> sake, Greg. I keep thinking you're about to say Carmen Sandiego. Uh, uh, Chief, do you think maybe this is maybe a good time for the home viewer contest? Yes. Okay. Every time you watch the show, write down what was stolen and from where. When you collected four loops and locations, write them down on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Acme Crime Net, P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day, we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Here's who won today.
Congratulations to all the winners. Great. See you later. Uh, Greg, Greg, one more thing. You, mm -hmm. you know that squeak in my chair. I oh, wonder yeah. if you could just check it out for oh, me. Squeak in a chair. Yeah. All right. Right there. <laughs> Carmen San Diego. Nope. No squeak that I can find. I got to get back to work. See you. Okay, guys, remember, we're still looking for Serenade and the Museum. Now, fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just received this phone conversation between Sarah and Carmen Sandiego.